Hello, my name is Gideon Ferber and in this video clip I'm going to demonstrate the use of Facebook feeds and Twitter tweets as data sources inside Maestro 6.1. As you know, social media becomes more and more powerful and significant nowadays and as such it affects the broadcast world as well. Maestro offers an easy connection to data from Facebook and Twitter by defining them as data sources. In order to do so, once we select a page, we can go to data sources and define a new data source. So just right click uh, on the data source list, add a new data source and select a type. So instead of XML, I want to use news. And inside news we can define whether we want to use RSS feed, Twitter tweets or Facebook page RSS feed. So let's start from Facebook and I have here the BBC World News on Facebook and BBC World uh, News offers an RSS update feed and this feed we can actually use. So get updates via RSS and then we can do one of two things. Either selecting the entire path to the RSS feed or just selecting the ID of that specific feed. So if we'll go back to the Maestro and we'll define the page ID that we want and we'll give it a name. So let's call the data source BBC News Feed and OK. And now we can go back to the Maestro and we have here the information. So now we can go to and select the column that we want to use and we can see in here all the information. Next thing to do is give the query a name. So let's just call it feed save query and that's it we have the information now we can reuse this information inside each and every page or instance that we want to so for example i can write now drag the first cell drop it into the template and let's change the title to bbc news feed that's it. Now we can queue and preview the page and you can see BBC News Feed with the information from Facebook. So that's really straightforward, really simple connection to Facebook. Now let's take a look on Twitter and here the connection is even easier. So again, define a new data source. Instead of Facebook Feed, we'll go to Twitter Tweets. And now we have two options. Either we want to follow a specific user, so whatever this user is sending, we will be able to see or anything that was sent to a specific user, again, this is something that we can follow. So, for example, if uh, viewers are sending tweets regarding a show and sending those tweets to the Twitter account of the broadcast channel, we would be able to record and collect all those tweets. In my case, I want to use a specific user, and if we go in here, I have searched for CNN, and as you can see, CNN have a Twitter account, just at CNN, that's it, that's what we need. So if we'll go back to the Maestro and define the data source, it's just a matter of defining the username that we want to follow, at CNN, and give it a name. So let's call it CNN Twitter, and OK. Switch back to the Maestro, and that's it. Now we can see the tweets, add it to the column, and we'll see the query result, all the information that we want, everything is right in here. Give it again, save the query, and let's call it tweets. And now we can reuse this information. So again, this time I want to switch to a different template, lower third Twitter, and I want to select, and let's say that I want to drag this information in here, and just rename it to CNN, Twitter tweets. That's it. Q preview. We have the information. That's it. We are ready to go on air. So let's add the background and now we can switch back and forth between the BBC's news feed and CNN Twitter account. That's it. Really, really simple integration, really simple connection. That's it for now. I hope you found this clip helpful and interesting. Thank you very much for your time.